Welcome everybody, Candlelighters of Brevard is honored to welcome you to the first annual Light of Hope virtual event, Creating a Path Through Childhood Cancer. Today we come together to recognize our courageous little warriors, create a deeper awareness about our cause, and support local families battling pediatric cancer. Because kids can't fight cancer alone, we stand united to fight for them and with them. Candlelighters is a nonprofit organization dedicated to children diagnosed with cancer and their families by offering emotional support and financial assistance. Serving Brevard and Indian River counties, we are committed to ensuring no one has to face the diagnosis of childhood cancer alone. The Light of Hope virtual event provides Candlelighter families a platform to directly share Candlelighter's mission and their experiences with you, our friends and viewers. A special performance will also be featured from our Candlelighter children will capture your heart and inspire action. While it's free to attend this virtual experience with us today, all guests are kindly encouraged to make a general donation on our Light of Hope event website. All donation amounts are valued and appreciated in support of our Candlelighter's mission and this first time event. Before we begin, the executive staff and board of directors would like to thank and recognize our two exclusive sponsors of this virtual experience, Brevard County Hyundai Dealers and the Watson Family Charitable Fund. Our incredible sponsors have made this virtual event possible through their generosity and support of our Candlelighter families. We sincerely thank these community-minded businesses for ensuring our Candlelighter families have a platform to share how cancer has affected the lives of their children. And to you, our viewers, we thank you again for spending this time with us today as we listen and learn from our little caterpillars that have emerged from their cancer cocoons and becoming the most beautiful butterflies. May we grow together as a community in providing this light of hope for these deserving children and their families. Scared of the dark no more I'm not running away 
We hope that the beauty of that powerful performance captured your heart and inspired your soul the way it did for us. Thank you, Candlelighters families, for your bravery in sharing your stories with each of us. Thank you for sharing your musical talents in order to tell your story, one of hope, one of loss, one of pain, one of purpose, one of darkness, and one of light. Candlelighters hates the reality of what the diagnosis of childhood cancers brings the entire family. However, if this is going to be a battle they must face, we feel honored to fight alongside them. We know that in addition to the shock of diagnosis and treatment, there is a tremendous financial burden, an endless amount of travel, and an overwhelming emotional impact. A parent should never have to choose between being with their child when they need them the most or paying their bills. Too many families are weighed down by financial burdens at the worst time of their lives as they try to save their child's life. Many of our donors and volunteers know the mission statement for Candlelighters, but many in our community may not realize the magnitude of facts surrounding cancer and how we combat those hardships through our programs and services. For example, did you know there are no pediatric oncologists in Brevard or Indian River counties, resulting in 100% of our families traveling throughout the state or nation to seek medical care, totaling over 280,000 miles in one year alone for Candlelighter families. Most Candlelighter families spend countless nights away from home in the hospital with one parent forced to leave their career in order to provide around-the-clock care. Candlelighter serves over 70 families a year, providing them with 20 programs and services that dramatically save many local families from financial ruin and emotional distress. Did you know every single day, 43 children in the U.S. are diagnosed with cancer, totaling almost 16,000 children each year? My son became a part of that data when he was diagnosed with cancer at the age of two. But when I joined the Candlelighter family, I knew I would not be alone in this fight, yet surrounded by other caring families sharing the same journey. 27 years later, I am still a part of this amazing organization and honored to serve as Director of Family Services. Did you know Candlelighters will forever remember and honor our nearly 70 angels that have received their healing in the form of wings? The reality is that the number one cause of death by disease in children is cancer. Candlelighters provides programs and services to bereavement families to help them through their agonizing loss. Did you know 60% of children who survive cancer experience long-term side effects? Many of our Candlelighters children have or are facing the reality of blindness, amputation, constant procedures and surgeries, or have other health issues due to the long-term side effects from their cancer treatments. Candlelighters hold several private events and initiatives throughout the years for families to feel connected to other families and children battling the same obstacles. Did you know, thanks to the support of donors, volunteers, and our community, for nearly 30 years, Candlelighters has grown to provide a significant path of hope to the over 350 families that we have served in Brevard and Indian River counties. This is our son, Princeton. Uh, he got diagnosed with stage four neuroblastoma cancer. We had no idea what lied ahead. It was like a shotgun just hit you in your stomach. I was really tired all the time for no reason. My doctor was like, something's not right here. And then we figured out that I had leukemia. I had a feeling that something was, was wrong and I don't know why, but I, I just, leukemia popped in my head before the doctors even came back. I was diagnosed with leukemia on July 22nd. I went in the hospital for nine days. Treatment is tough. He's been through more in the past five and a half months than I've been through in my 32 years of life. Thought we had it all figured out. All the T's crossed, all the I's dotted. Everything we had in our bank just started going. With doctor bills, and for a place to stay it was hard because we lived 
an hour and a half away. So the trip became long. Financially and emotionally, those are the things that kind of go. And candlelighters come in and just kind of pick up pieces where they know that are already broken. We've reached out to them. They're like, submit your bills. And I was like, really? And they're like, absolutely. And um, it was just huge for us. Candlelighters has been kind of like a life life, you know, in this process because again we didn't have any family and we didn't have any friends and you guys have been you know kind of that for us you know getting together with other families that were going through the same thing was such like a healing process they pay for me to go out to clinic they take care of utility bills the program that i love the most is the car service you guys have because traveling back and forth to Orlando put some toll again on the van and I think you guys have this awesome program to help family with their car. It made my mom feel like she had somewhere to go and some a large group of people that understand what we're going through. The fun side of it is they do a lot of amazing programs for the kids and it's not only Travis, his older brother who has been drugged through the mud also through all of this gets um, to feel very special. And then of course just those fun days of going to SeaWorld. You know, you want to create memories outside the hospital where you can look back and remember a good time, a fun time where you were laughing and playing and not thinking about needles and medication. And so in those days where we were able to leave the hospital and get out and just have fun as a family, I mean, those times are priceless. You're a group of people that have been put together for a great cause and, and that affect many lives. And, and to us, you know, if I had to sum it up, it will be family, because family, family loves each other. Family grows together, cries together, laughs together. We've done that in the last couple of years. We, we, we laughed and we've cried a lot, haven't we? The fight that we have is no, is no longer just our fight. You guys fight it with us. The families that are there fight it with us. Uh, I think we're all fighting it together. I'm having candlelighters like around is like basically having your own family around. Like they're so helpful and they understand what you go through and not many people can say that. And it's just nice to talk to them and they understand like, oh, they're not really okay, but we're still gonna be here for them. And that's the biggest thing that I've always taken back from that. And I think anybody that you know, goes through this knows that kids can't fight cancer alone. Thank you to our Light of Hope event sponsor, the Watson Family Charitable Fund. Greg and Leisha Flamia Watson have been top candlelighter supporters through their gifting of their donor advised funds, event sponsorships, direct contributions, and so much more. The generosity that both of them have shown our organization over the years is inspiring. And they have been a dynamic part of our Candlelighter family of donors. Their thoughtfulness, their humility, their dedication and compassion to the families of Candlelighters is deeply valued and appreciated. Leisha Flamio Watson has served as a role model for the women of Candlelighters as a female business and community leader. As owner of Flamio Financial Group, a private wealth practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, she strives daily in working with her clients and their families across multiple generations to help offer strategies to help build and sustain wealth and establish legacy. On a personal level, Leisha possesses the humor, the grit, and the genuine passion that is absolutely electric. Thank you to the Watson family and Flamio Financial Group for their incredible sponsorship of this event and for all that Leisha and Greg continue to invest into Candlelighters. Thank you to our Light of Hope event sponsor, Brevard County Hyundai Dealers. Coco and Coastal Hyundai serve our community by donating their time, their talents, their treasures, and have been proven to be warriors in the fight against pediatric cancer. The Nelson and Sanger families through their corporate and personal efforts have dedicated decades of tireless support to foster the growth and development of Candlelighters of Brevard 
by donating over $850,000 through their legacy of giving. The dealerships are a critical part of our organization as they proudly serve as sponsors of our signature events, our community events, our family programs, our fundraising initiatives, and so much more year after year after year. Tracy Latshaw, as co-owner of Burrard County Hyundai Dealers, currently serves on our board of directors. The dealership partners with Candlelighters to provide the critically needed Angel Car Care program. This program ensures that local families traveling to their treatment centers for their diagnosis of childhood cancer have a safe vehicle to get them to their destination by completing services that include oil changes, new tires, brakes, routine repairs, and more. Thank you to Brevard County Hyundai dealers. From their leadership team to their employees, we thank you for your inspirational and impactful relationship that you uphold as donors and sponsors to Candlelighters of Brevard. Grant was diagnosed with cancer, um, ALL leukemia in October 22nd, um, 2016. April 1st, we got um, a call that said they believed that his bone marrow had shown a relapse and they wanted to repeat it in a few weeks just to make sure and he would continue on his chemo journey until then. When we went back May 1st of 2017, they confirmed that indeed he did relapse and we needed to head for a bone marrow transplant. At that time, I was 34, 35 weeks pregnant with Wyatt. We talked about the possibility of saving his cord blood, but it would only be a 25% chance that he would be a match for Grant. So we kind of thought there's probably not gonna happen. We're gonna have to figure out something else. So we started looking at the registry at that time and Grant started prepping for transplant. Some of the things people don't realize when a child is diagnosed with cancer are the financial burden and the emotional burden that is placed on the entire family, not just the child, not just the parents. When Grant was in the room and we would be at his bedside, I didn't want to leave. I actually didn't leave his room for 30 days almost. I would have all of my meals delivered to me because I just never knew what the next moment would bring. I never knew if he would have a reaction to the chemo or if he would have a hard time breathing. So I never wanted to be away from his side. And my husband and I had to take time off of work. I was out of work basically six months out of the year that he was in treatment. It was an extreme burden financially, and it breaks up a lot of families, and we had that same hard time just like every family has. You know, it's hard to emotionally see your child go through something and not be able to fix it and financially be struggling there's just so much that goes on. The amount of travel and time spent in the car. My husband and I spent many, many nights sleeping in different places. Our entire family didn't sleep in the same room for months after Wyatt was born because my husband would be with Grant and I would be with Wyatt at the Ronald McDonald house. It takes a toll on a family. Grant was diagnosed on a Saturday and Monday morning, I got a call from Adis. Somebody, one of our friends who we know, who is a part of Candelators, reached out to Adis and told her that our family had a new diagnosis. And she called and said, I'm Adis from Candelators, and you know, I just heard about your son and, and we know you're going through a hard time, so we want to be here to help you. Since then, they've always been that emotional support that you need. I can't even tell you how much financial support they've given us over the years uh, between paying, helping pay for gas and tolls, our electric bill, anything, any um, prescriptions, if we needed help with money for prescriptions, they were there. Um, there's not anything that I've ever reached out and asked them that they weren't able to try and help us in some way. Like I said, emotionally, it helped my marriage. Um, it helped my family dynamic. It helped me be happy for the moments I could be happy so that I could also be there for Grant and Wyatt. 
So Grant is currently five. So Wyatt was born May 16th, and after a couple of weeks of testing, we were able to find that he was the perfect match for Grant. He was a 100% match, which was a godsend to us. I mean, we couldn't have been more relieved. And not only that, but the amount of cord blood was the exact amount that we would need based on Grant's weight for this transplant. So we just knew that this was God's way of giving us the gift of his life. He goes to VPK program, normal healthy kid. If you look at him now, you would never know that he was ever sick, which is a blessing. Now he plays baseball, he rides go-karts, and um, just loves life, which is the best feeling in the entire world. He just is like one of those happy-go-lucky kids. The support we got from Candlelighters was so important to us that we want to help other families going through a tough time. Even if it's a shoulder to lean on or someone to call for a resource to find out where you can stay or what you can do or what the next step is or what maybe the reaction to a certain chemo was. When you're going through the journey, just having someone to listen who's been there and isn't going to make you feel like poor pity you because sometimes that's not actually what you're looking for. You just want to vent and feel normal, even though everything you're going through is not normal. It is extremely important to help candlelighters because every family is in need financially and emotionally. And if candlelighters did not help us, we would not be able to provide for our children the way we were able to. They have some kind of resource for anything you can think of. And if they don't, they try to figure out a way that they can help every family. Because every family is so different and their dynamic of being able to help every family is amazing. Cancer. The word alone has the power to strike fear and anxiety and sadness into our hearts. A diagnosis of cancer at any age for ourselves or for those that we love also has the power to leave us breathless and powerless and hopeless. But when it is a child, whether they are two years old or two months old, it simply shatters our hearts and our minds. The reality of pediatric cancer is hard and it's raw, but it's real. And we as a community have a responsibility not to shy away from the hurt of our children, but rather to run to it and to pick up our children when they fall. That, my friends, is basic humanity. And over the past year, we have learned about the frailty of our humanity in battling COVID together as one globe. It is for that reason why we still can't be together today in a large crowd. But like today, that will not stop us from helping and healing as one nation under God. The children of candlelighters need us now more than ever to create a pathway through childhood cancer to light and to hope. The children of candlelighters are like butterflies to us. They spend their childhood years, yes, years, on treatment and in pain as if they were caterpillars locked in their cocoons. The darkness of those cocoons is overwhelming for a child of any age. Imagine, imagine a five-year-old knowing more about chemo than cartoons. Imagine a teenager having more doctors and nurses as friends than schoolmates. Imagine a once healthy child knowing that their time is near and wanting to plan their own funeral. That is the magnitude of this daily darkness when locked away in these cocoons. But, but, they too emerge as butterflies, strong, beautiful, and resilient. They cannot find their way out of the darkness, however, and into the light alone. They need us. They need us to help them emerge. They need us 
to help create a pathway from diagnosis to treatment, from treatment to connection, from connection to financial and emotional support, from support to transformation, from despair to hope, and from darkness to light. So how do we do that? Well, it's simple. We come together and serve them through candlelighters and providing them with the critical programs and services so deeply needed. Candlelighters welcomes you to join us in our mission in ensuring that no child faces cancer alone. Every single donation dollar received today will have an impact on our candlelighter families. If you are watching with us right now on our event page, please click the dollar amount below and donate now. For those joining us on Facebook, you can find the donation link in the comments or shown on the screen. Consider donating to help us reach our goal of $30,000. Again, every donation size is valued and appreciated. From $5,000 to $5, give whatever you can in providing your light. We need you. We need our community to come together to fill that donation thermometer to the top and helping us reach our goal of $30,000 for these deserving kids and families. From our Candlelighter families to yours, we thank you for your donations, for your support, and for your love. We are all called to serve in different ways and at different times in our lives. For me, serving as board president stems from a pivotal moment in my life when we were informed that my daughter had a brain tumor. But despite the fear of her surgery, we were one of the lucky families because Julia's tumor was non-cancerous. I knew in that moment that we had been spared from the devastating hardships of pediatric cancer. In that spirit of gratitude, my wife and I knew that we wanted to serve candlelighters. Years later, it's an honor to stand and serve as board president. If today you feel that call to serve, we invite you to learn more about our organization by visiting candlelightersofbrevard.org or call us directly at 321-728-5600. Our board of directors at Candlelighters are humbled you spent this time with us today. To our longtime donors, we thank you for your tireless support year after year. To those new to our organization, we welcome you. To our Candlelighters families, we honor you, we remember our angels, and we stand beside you. From our board of directors and executive staff, we thank you for providing a light of hope for the children and families of Candlelighters.